what is going on? Today we're gonna to talk about why you can't currently do a double under, and we are gonna go through all the things you may be doing wrong and make sure that you correct those mistakes so you can start doing a double under like a jump rope ninja. Let's dive right into this. Let's find out why you can't double under. The first thing is that you probably haven't mastered the regular bounce if you're still having trouble with the double under. So look here, we're just gonna show you a quick example of what the regular bounce should look like. We're also gonna link you to a tutorial. So if you want a really in-depth look on how to master the regular bounce, we'll link it for you. But right here, just look at what's going on throughout my body, okay? If you look at my feet, I'm just coming barely off the ground, staying in between the balls of my feet and the tips of my toes, and also, very, very minimal movement when it comes to the upper body. So the wrists are doing all the work, the arms aren't moving much, the shoulders are staying stationary, and overall, when you look at the body, there isn't much movement here. And so that's where most people enter, have problems with the double under is because they're moving their body too much. And that may happen because you're doing the exact same thing in your regular bounce, but you get away with it because it's an easier move. So make sure you watch the tutorial if you need to. This is the foundation for the double under. Start with the regular bounce. Next up, you may be moving your body too much in general. So understand that this is called the dolphin right here and you may see this by a lot of people and this it may seem like it's a funny thing but a lot of people teach the double under and do the double under this way where they're you know jerking their neck forward and their feet out and when you try to learn it this way it's a lot harder to fit the the rope onto your feet because you have a ton of extra movement and so people who try to use this form end up even looking even sillier like what you can see on the screen right now and so limit the movement in general okay look at what I'm doing here see this example very minimal movement uh, you know coming slightly off the ground and trying to keep everything controlled throughout the entire body so if you learned anything here do not do the dolphin keep the movement minimal and you're gonna start the master double under next up you may be using your arms to spin the rope instead of the wrist. You can get away with this when it comes to the regular bounce, but you can't get away with it when it comes to double under. So you can see here, obviously I'm really trying to overdo it here, but a lot of people move their arms all over the place when they're trying to double under to force the rope under and they end up tripping over it. So this is gonna happen over and over again if you continue to try to use your arms to spin the rope instead of using your wrists, okay? This is something that's gonna happen over and over again. You're gonna keep on hitting your legs as long as you're, you're not using the proper form. So as you can see here, when we slow it down, I'm not moving my arms at all. Really, I'm just keeping my wrists spinning, and that very slight movement is enough to spin the rope under my feet twice without any extra movement in my arms. So really, focus on spinning with your wrist and not with your arms. Next up, you're trying too hard to spin the rope twice. So a lot of people have an idea in their head that if they want to double under, they have to spin the rope twice. It's actually not, not as true, but yes, it has to go under your feet twice, but as you can see here when we slow it down, I'm just doing one abrupt whip of the rope to get it under my feet the first time, and the momentum takes it under my feet the second time. So we're gonna show this to you a handful of times here. I want you to really watch what happens here. Boom, watch my wrist, boom, there's an aggressive whip, and that one aggressive whip gets the rope under my feet two times. and it's happening very quickly. But really try to watch and see how this double under doesn't take a ton of movement throughout your entire body. It doesn't take you trying to spin the rope uh, you know, multiple times. All it takes is that you spin the rope one time very aggressively, and that aggressive movement, that one time with your wrist, is going to allow the rope to actually spin two times under your feet. And that's what it looks like in real time. All right, mistake number five, you're not keeping your arms stationary. So this is very similar to the mistake we talked about earlier, but if you're trying to move your arms uh, or your hands out to the sides or up or down, you're gonna continually bring the rope into your legs and into your feet and trip over it. So you can see here when we slow it down, my wrists aren't moving, they're staying right at my hips. It's a very tight motion here. And so because I keep this mo motion so tight, the, the rope can easily slide under my feet and it 
one, doesn't take as much effort, and two, make sure you don't trip over the rope. So the lesson here we want you to get is do not try to force the rope by moving your arms up, down, side to side. Instead, keep your hands exactly where they are and just use that wrist movement to make sure you get two cycles under your feet. So we're gonna show it to you one more time here. And one final look, giving you a 360 view of what this looks like, right? And in real time, the wrists are doing all the work, we're not moving our arms up and down or side to side. Finally, the number six mistake people make is not investing in a good rope. Obviously you see here, we're using the jump rope uh, by cross rope. This is the quarter pound agility rope. We linked it in the description below for you if you wanna grab it, but you don't have to grab this one. This is one we use every day, but in general, get a high quality rope. Cause if you don't have a high quality rope, you're gonna end up dealing with issues like your rope getting tangled. You're gonna end up dealing with the issues of your rope wearing out super fast. In general, guys, just invest in a good rope. It's gonna be easier to do tricks, do double unders, and continue to improve your jump rope skill set. And that's it, guys. If you wanna grab that rope, you can do so below. Here is a recap on the double under. If you master these things, you are going to get the double under down. You guys, we really hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you want more tutorials on doing jump rope tricks, jump rope moves, you want jump rope workouts, jump rope challenges, jump rope anything, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if this was helpful for you, please like the video, comment below, share with a friend. Thanks so much, guys. Do the thing, Zendu's out.